Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my lecture. Uh, here in this video, I will uh, try to explain uh, uh, the different types of sets. Uh, so many different types of sets are there in our mathematics or in our set chapter. So out of all those different kinds of types, I am going to explain some of them. So let's start the lecture. First one is empty set. Okay. which is also known as void set or which is also known as null set okay this one empty set void set or null set I said what does it mean first of all what is set set is nothing but a collection of objects collection of elements whatever it may be it is nothing but a well defined collection which can be defined properly. So, out of all those parts of our order sets, that means their collection itself, in that collection, obviously, number of elements will be there, maybe finite, maybe infinite, whatever it may be. So, depending upon the number of elements of that collection, they are categorized in different ways. Depending upon the number of elements of that collection. So, let us start the first one. Empty set. From the word empty, you have come to know that about that or you have got the idea about that collection. What type of elements will be there? How many elements will be there? Empty means no elements will be there. Yet. First of all, it's the collection, no doubt. The collection which does not contain any element, that type of collections are known as empty collection or empty set, which is also known as void. Void means empty or it is also known as null set. Generally, it is known to us that this each and every set is always represented by a specific name. That means one name should be there for each and every set. A to Z, any letter you can use to represent a set. Then obviously, every set will have a specific name. What is the letter which is used to represent an empty set? This is nothing but the phi. Phi means if the phi is written like that, then obviously you have come to know this is nothing but an empty set. What is the set representation? Or the set representation is like that. We know that set means you have to mention the elements in the cardinal bracket. Cardinal bracket will be there, but you have to mention the elements here. So in an empty set, how many elements are there? Not a single element is there. So that's why in this way it's a representation of empty set. Either you have to write down phi or you have to write down simple cardinal bracket where no elements will be there inside the set. Second one. single concept or it is also known as unit set unit 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 set okay so single concept set means what from the word you have come to know set means it's a collection no doubt but what type of collections are known as single concept set single that means only one element is there so obviously suppose a set is contains this is single concept set you know why? Because the set contains how many elements? Exactly one elements. Maybe four, maybe five, whatever. Right? Maybe singleton set is a set which contains exactly how many elements? One elements. So we can easily give some examples of singleton set. For example, natural number it is a collection, well defined collection. Obviously, natural number is a well defined collection. Natural number less than two. How many natural numbers are less than two? Only one element, so like one. So in that collection, how many elements you have got only? One element, that's why it's a single set. So, nested number lies between 2 and 4. 2 or 4 are the two kinds of number. How many nested numbers are there in between 2 and 4? Only one nested number, 3. Then, obviously, in that collection, how many elements you have got? One element. The element is 3. That's why it's a single set. Empty set. So, obviously, you can give so many different examples of empty set. Nested number less than 1. Is there any nested number less than 1? No. That means in that collection, we are not getting a single element. That's why it's an empty set. Okay, so in this way, we can easily say that some examples from where we get the idea about the empty set. That is, just you have to give one example where no elements will be there in collection and it will be an empty collection and empty set. And under condition, if you have got a single element, then it will be a single concept. Okay, so next third one is finite set. Obviously, already I have told that depending upon the number of elements of the collection, they are named as light. So, empty set, no elements are there, singleton set, only one element will be there. Finite set, 
number of elements is finite. For example, it's a finite set. How many? That is a collection where you can easily give the total number of elements. Give the information about the total number of elements of the collection. Zibila collection to be talk about total number of elements. Exactly the value of the This set how many contains? Uh, this set contains how many elements? One. Exactly you have given the exact information. That only one element is here. Okay, yeah, finite set. Any set. Suppose one, two, three, four. These are finite set. One to four up to hundred. This is a finite set. How many elements are there? Exactly you can give the information. Hundred elements are there. How many uh, elements are there? If you cannot give the exact answer to you or uh, exact answer, then it will be known as infinite set. Infinite means number of elements cannot be given the total number of elements of that collection. So number of elements is infinite. Now my question is that empty set is finite or infinite? Finite means how many elements are there? You can easily give the answer. Now my question is that how many elements are there in the empty set? How many? What is the total number of elements of the set? Zero. Can you give the can you mention the number of elements exactly? Yes. I can easily mention the number of elements of the empty set. How many elements are there? Zero element. That's why right. empty set itself is a finite set. Okay, that is finite means what? Where how many numbers of elements are there? How many elements are there? You can easily represent it by simple number. How many elements are there? Hundred. How many elements are there? Zero. How many elements are there? Four. All are finite set. How many elements are there? Can you give one specific number represented by specific number? No, we cannot have any idea. We cannot write down the whole number of elements of the collection by single number. So that's why it is an infinite set. Okay. But now this is a finite set. Okay. Uh, in this way, we have got so many different examples. Okay, and uh, next, the last one is already we have discussed in the previous lectures cardinality. What is the cardinality of an empty set? Cardinal means number of elements. Cardinality of phi is equal to zero. Cardinality of a singleton set is what? Cardinality of a singleton set is always what? Cardinality of a singleton set is always one. Okay, so in this way, we can easily categorize different types of sets. Simple sets, empty, singleton, finite, infinite, like that. Okay, so I think you have got the idea about this one. Why empty set is known as finite set? Because how many elements are there in the empty set? We can easily represent it by single number. How many elements are there? Zero elements. So we can easily give the answer without having any doubt. But how many elements are there from 1 to infinity? How many elements are there? We don't have any idea. So it's an infinite set. Thank you so much for watching the video. Just go to the types of sets. Thank you.